There has been four new rule changes that has been implemented by the NFL this offseason that will change it drastically. One on special teams, one on defense, and a few more. But before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for every news update for the Pittsburgh Steelers and the NFL in general, and also like the video. Let's get right back into it. So, one of the plays in the NFL that has received some of the most rule changes over the years is the kickoff rule. And once again, it has been altered this offseason. Every offseason, it's either a rule change or a rule proposal for the kickoff that either makes it more safe for the players or it makes it more exciting going back to its roots. And now a report from Albert Breer indicates that the new kickoff rule has been voted through by the NFL owners and it was confirmed as well from the meeting in Orlando. So the rule will be reportedly on a one-year trial and let's get right into it. What's the new rule change? Well, the kicker will be by himself on his own 35-yard line and he won't be able to cross the midfield line until the ball is in play. That means caught. The coverage team will be lined up together on the receiving team's 40-yard line and five players must be on either side of the ball. This is an attempt to lower the large-scale collisions that take place with players running full speed down the field. So now it's less space to run for the defenders, but they won't be able to move until the ball is actually caught by the kickoff return men. The receiving team will have a setup zone from the 30-yard line to the 35. Most of the receiving team will be lined up at the 35, and they can have two returners back to field the kickoff. There's also a landing zone between the goal line and the 20-yard line. Neither team's primary line of players can move, like I said, until the football has been fielded by the returner or the ball hits the ground first. The figure catch has also been eliminated from the kickoff. If the kickoff does not go beyond the start of the landing zone that has been implemented, then it's considered out of bounds and the returning team will get the ball at the 40 yard line, basically just how the other rule was if the ball just naturally goes out of bounds. It, gets, it goes to the 40 yard line and that's how it is if it does not go beyond the start of the landing zone. Also, touchbacks, which have been at the 25 yard line since 2016, will now be at the 30 yard line, meaning that it gives the offense a better chance of returning the kickoffs because now maybe the special teams won't just kick it out of the end zone every single time because it's an extra five yards. So the rule was initially proposed. The touchback was going to be at the 35, but then it was a little bit tweaked over the weekend leading up the vote. And there's also a touchback that ends up at the 20 yard line like it used to be. That is if the ball hits the ground in the landing zone and rolls into the end zone without getting returned. So that's the rule change, and this is what has been implemented by the NFL to make kickoffs more exciting once again, but still a little bit safer for the players. So it's basically a touch on both ends, safer and more exciting. If there is a penalty, the only person moving their starting spot will be the kicker. That's the only person who adjusts where they line up in any given instance. Also, along with this, there's a new rule for onside kicks. Since the kickoffs are required to reach a landing zone, which is obviously too far to make sense for an onside kick now, now teams will only be allowed to do onside kicks in the fourth quarter if they are trailing a team and will have to declare they are attempting it ahead of time, basically giving a warning to the other team receiving the kick to kind of get their hands team on the field. This is the one rule change I really don't like because onside kicks used to be fun. They could do any time and sometimes you get it without the other team even realizing you're going to do it. But even though it was hard to always receive the onside kick, this makes it even more because you basically have no chance of getting it and thus the other team just drops it and you recover off of a fumble. Now the other team will always know if you're going to do the onside kick. I don't like this rule change, but the other rule change for the kickoff makes complete sense. And the Steelers adjusted to that rule change for the kickoffs right away. They waited for it to adapt and they signed the best kick returner basically in NFL history based off stats, Cordero Patterson, right away. Apparently they've been meeting with him for up to two weeks, been talking back and forth. And as soon as this rule change got implemented, they signed him the same or the next day. So they got 
Cordell Patterson, and they adjusted to the rule change and were right on topic and right on point with this move. If kickoffs are back, why not get one of the best kick returners in NFL history, even though he's older? He knows what he's doing, and he's someone who could help the Steelers big time in terms of field position for the team. Even though he's not himself, he's not what he used to be in terms of agility, speed, and everything like that, he still has the most kick return touchdowns in NFL history and third all-time in yards per average. So why not get someone of that caliber? And that's what they do. They get him not only to be a running back number three, a slot wide receiver maybe, but also to be a kick returner for the team. So the Pittsburgh Steelers were ahead of the bus in terms of this rule change and get Cordell Patterson on top of it. So it's a really nice move by Omer Khan and the Pittsburgh Steelers. And this rule change should allow Cordell Patterson to be himself once again and do what he does best and allow just any kick returner to have a better chance of feeling the ball actually running it back instead of it just going through the end zone every single time and it has basically no impact on the game at all. So now maybe kickoffs will have an impact on the game and teams will just kick it through the end zone because it'll just go to the 30 yard line that's extra five yards. Maybe they'll actually allow the kicker to kick the ball and have the kickoff return man actually field it and we could see actual special teams play and not only have to rely on returns for punts. We could actually see it happen at the start of the game or any time an opposing team scores the ball and a kickoff happens. Live action football instead of just dead football. Now, moving over to the next rule change that has been implemented by the NFL that will change a lot. This one was proposed by the Detroit Lions and has been passed. It basically protects a team's ability to challenge and have a third ruling following one successful challenge, meaning that teams could get more aggressive in challenging plays that they won't automatically lose the challenge even if the team wins. They will basically get three challenges and this will have more of an aggressive play in terms of the coaches challenging what the refs are calling and not being scared of losing the challenge or losing it further on in the game if you don't get the fir first one right. Now they'll automatically have three even if they are unsuccessful on their first one. So teams don't really use challenges that much. I don't really see two challenges always happen per team. So this one kind of protects it for the team and protects it for the coach, but still don't expect all three to be used every single game because that more than likely will not happen and it doesn't happen usually even with two. So this rule change happens just to protect the coaches and protect the team in terms of the refs making a mistake and you being able to challenge it. Another one that was kind of banned by the NFL or a rule change that has been implemented is the hip drop tackle ban. This will force defensive players to change their technique and kind of work on different ways to bring an offensive player down or special teams player down when tackling them and not basically swiveling their legs to bring them down from behind. The rule change allowing enforcement of a major foul by the offense is one that seemingly won't come into play often, but the offensive foul will be, will be enforced on the ensuring change of possession. For example, if there is a double foul won by both teams prior to change of possession, the team that gains possession will keep the ball after the enforcement of its foul. So basically, just don't hip drop tackle. You know the play where Le'Veon Bell got injured against Cincinnati and he was tackled, they landed on his leg, he got injured, and basically how Mark Andrews got injured last season as well, late towards the end of the season. Basically, you can't do that. You can't you can't grab them by their hip and just fall on their legs. You could fall somewhere else, but you can't tackle like that anymore. They've changed it, and many players have spoken out about it. Quan Alexander, Pittsburgh Steeler last season, he's currently a free agent, I believe. But he has talked about it and he doesn't like the rule change. Even Patrick Queen said that we're turning into flake football. So players don't like it, but offense players do like it because it obviously protects them and it allows them more freely to move around without being scared about getting an injury when being tackled. So defense players don't like it, special teams players don't like it who are tackling, but offense players and returners like it because it keeps them safe. 
So that's another rule change that has been implemented by the NFL that will change a lot. How else are you really supposed to tackle someone if you're chasing them from behind? If your only option is to grab them, reach out, and kind of drag them down by their hips, it's going to be really hard to tackle someone if you're from behind. Unless you just are so fast, able to get in front of them, and always keep up. But this has been a big rule change, and many people are going to have to adjust to it. Anyway, these are the five rule changes that has been implemented by the NFL that will change a lot. Let's just recap it really quickly. The kickoffs, more exciting but more safer. No more onside kicks unless you kind of tell the other team beforehand. Also, you get three challenges. Also, the enforcement of the major foul rule. And also, the hip drop tackle. Those are the five rule changes. They'll, they will change a lot in the NFL in terms of how the players, coaches, and everyone responds and how we view the game. So with that being said, that's in this video. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below about this topic. And let me know your thoughts on each one of these rule changes. Do you like it? Do you not like it? And do you want to see something else added or one of these rule changes taken away? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below just about this topic in general and how it will change the game for better or for worse. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss out on anything Pittsburgh Steelers news or just news involving the NFL in general that will affect each team. Also, I've covered every free agency pickup. If you want to go check it out, all their introductions are on the channel. I'll continue to do so along with the draft coming up. So turn on notifications, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all later. Till next time. I'm out. Peace.